The PDP Publicity Secretary Chris Nehai, through a pictorial illustration, explained what he described as alleged harassment, intimidation and molestation by some state government officials. The Publicity Secretary said the briefing became necessary following an alleged recent molestation of a woman by official of the State Ministry of Transport. So in this video, you can see a prominent secretary in a state government being humiliated to pick up refuse, just to satisfy the ego of a man as probably as qualified as he is. And he will threaten him that next time I will deal with you. You can imagine the humiliation a permanent secretary is going through in the hands of a dance with someone. You will see another commissioner, I think uh, Honorable Simemi, attacking a woman who is trying to fend for herself after the government failed to provide her a job. The victim, Mrs. Ogosai Jemai, who was at the state PDP secretariat in company of her husband, said the purpose of the visit was to let the opposition party know of the alleged ill treatment mentored on citizens by the state government. Narrating Haodi, Mrs. Ejemai said on 2nd of February 2016, while she was in her shop, some government officials, led by the Commissioner for Transport, Isime Meriogbe, stormed her shop and confiscated her goods under the pretense that she was trading on the walkway, which she said was untrue. Mrs. Ijemai, who expressed dismay at the manner she was manhandled, said the painful part was that she lost her seven weeks old pregnancy as a result of the alleged beating by officials of the Ministry of Transport. The commissioner of Transport. all my body was paining me. So the third day after I was I started bleeding, then I went to Central Hospital in staff level. Yet I hear the doctor confirm it that I lost my seven weeks pregnancy. Summing up the briefing, the Edo State PDP Publicity Secretary Chris Nehari said the party will hire the services of a lawyer to press charges on behalf of the victim. Best Mbire reporting.